Uh, well, we're, uh, we're out here at the East Fork Ranch. Uh, first night in the blind. Had a doe come up uh, fairly early. We decided to go out and take her because we are out here on the coal hunt. Uh, we're shooting the new uh, DRD 45 uh, muzzle loader bullet. Uh, three things I've noticed while we've been out here. Uh, the gun is with the, paired up with the DC rifle. Uh, it's extremely accurate. Uh, they've been able to get uh, sub inch groups at 100, about an inch and a half to two inches at 200. This is my first time shooting DRT ammunition and uh, this new terminal shock uh, muzzleloader bullet. Um, I had heard about it, never shot a frangible bullet before, didn't really know what to think, and after shooting two deer with it, I must say I'm very impressed with it. I shot two deer with a new DRT bullet this time in Missouri. Uh, one was a white-tailed buck at about 60 yards, uh, another was a white-tailed doe at about 40. Uh, neither deer ran Know, more than 30 or 40 yards, and both were dead as, as they fell. Uh, and as you can see, the other thing I've noticed uh, is this has been extremely deadly this week, uh, but in the gelatin, just extremely uh, impressive. As you can see on that deer right there, uh, made a good shot, and she dropped right in her track. Three or four inches of penetration before that thing comes apart, and when it comes apart, I mean, it is just devastating. It's unbelievable performance. That's the entrance hole. But see that little bit of moisture under the skin? Just erupted it. Well, that's what I want. I'm trying to get a good picture of for these guys is being able, even the Cushman for that matter, but able, being able to show the entrance hole and then nothing on the other side. You know yeah. what I mean? Nothing. There's no, yeah. no, no contamination. There's no. That shock is what knocked that animal down. It wasn't right. the lungs. It was all that energy dispersed in that little body. Uh, the two deer I shot, for example, I shot a buck last night. I just missed the scapula. It came through and basically took out both of his legs. And you know, when we opened that deer up, it was just, deer was dead. He didn't go very far. Uh, I shot a doe with this bullet, which would be your classic behind, behind the shoulder, in the lungs, almost instantaneous death. In the woods, I was, oh, more than pleased because uh, you know, sometimes you don't know quite what to expect of a muzzleloader bullet. And shooting a, an expanding bullet at muzzleloader velocities Sometimes you get full penetration and wasted energy out the other side. In this case, both bullets ruptured completely inside and did extensive damage uh, to the lungs. I'd like just to see what a hundred grams of powder will do with that new, you know, that new one. Rib. Rib. Taking a rib out of it. Yeah. 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 That would be a blood clot. and one, the doe, was facing steeply away and I took her behind the rear rib. The bullet spent all of its energy in, in the lungs and uh, it had to penetrate the paunch to do that. It broke that. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good hole coming through there. See, that's not the bullet coming through there. <clears throat> At that point. Can you cut right? Did it knock a bone through the other side? I think it's part of the core. <clears throat> you know the honest truth of it. Right there. Right. Is that the entrance hole there? Entrance. Right yeah, side. Right side. Is Exit and left side. There's another uh, hunter here in camp last night. He, he gut shot a doe, not on purpose. It was, a, it was a true, you know, a little bit of judgment. Bullet went a little bit farther left than he wanted it to, and that deer went down like that. And how often do you see that with a, with, with a gut shot? You don't. Uh, the compressed powder that is actually the jacketed bullet's core sprays a lethal uh, dose of particles into the vitals, and this is what kills the animal. I've never seen a bullet like this. Um, I guess, you know, to stop short of being really graphic, it's like you basically, you put a blender inside a deer. and, and that's about the best way I can describe it. It's like it basically takes out everything in its path. There's your entrance. Ooh. I thought I was shooting young deer like your window. So if you just grab it. A 
of bleeding in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Heart shot. Yep. Yeah. That top of the heart is mangled. Uh, the third thing I've really noticed this week when we've been shooting these guns is how easy it is to load the bullet. Oftentimes that's not the case with the muzzle or bullet. You've got a lot of inconsistencies with the load and between shots it becomes a problem, but we haven't had that at all. So you put those things, the three, three things together, that's what you get. You get a, you get a deer down.